150 is the first level of a resistance which I would be looking for if we are able to surpass them this level. Then the next level on the higher side will be 25,420. Uh, coming to the point of support, um, Nifty now has a support at uh, 24,650 to 24,680. And if we break that level, then 24,500. You know, prior also we were been talking about that 24,000, 24,100 is a level where, you know, Nifty has a support and we have seen that support holding. Now that level has been increased to the level of uh, 24,400, 24,500. Minor support here and there are there. So in that way, uh, still trend has been up. If we compare the chart Nifty with the bank Nifty, still Nifty chart is much more strong as compared to the bank Nifty chart. This is I'm looking for the last you know four or five weeks and we have been you know Nifty has been outperforming as compared to the bank Nifty. Now if we look out to the bank Nifty, bank Nifty made an intraday high of 52,340 and now it came down and it's still trading below the level of 52,000. Uh, uh, 52, now, if we give closing above 52,000, then we are heading towards the level of 50,800. Now, the coming to the point that right now, what is the support of it of bank Nifty since trading at 51,500? It has a support at 51, uh, uh, 50, 51,000 to 51,200 in the bank of 200 points. Uh, if that thing breaks, then 50,600 and 800 would be coming into play. But I don't think this time that 51,000 should be broken. Whereas on the higher side, it has a resistance of 51,800 to 52,000. A Nifty, a bank Nifty has a range of say 1,000 points, whereas bank, whereas Nifty, I am feeling that in a couple of days, we are uh, uh, trying to build the federal sector. Still, on a promising note, that school has been intact and uh, we might see the buy Okay. You know, uh, Sakshi, I think uh, a new dawn uh, has started on Bank Nifty and uh, uh, the signs of that are in Bandhan Bank. Uh, look at uh, the way uh, it's reacted post earnings, 12.7% higher. And will you believe it, 11 crore shares of Bandhan Bank have been traded, which is 8 times uh, the average. So, uh, for those who are new to the markets, uh, uh, this is... Uh, a wonderful thing to note that once the earnings are out and the stock reacts very very positively with a burst of volume then uh, the momentum uh, lasts for a longer time i'll request uh, the pcr to fire a long term chart of bandhan bank and rajesh ji will take your view on this one uh, 216 217 is uh, what the charts are saying and a very very strong show on the volume front Sahilji, if we talk about the uh, 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 London Bank, you know, just look the weekly chart. Weekly chart from a from a high of December uh, 2020, you would be seeing that it's been trading with lower tops and lower bottom formation. Generally, I'm looking that CD ki taraf wo utar gaya hai. But now, if you see, you know, the medium term moving average, it's had touched that moving average. You know that it has been quoting at 216 or 20 around. And um, if uh, things are looking promising. I feel uh, for a very short term trading bet has been considered for a one week to a two week time frame. If we are able to hold on uh, 195 or 200 mark level, then probability we can see an upswing and that upswing can be seen towards the level of uh, first uh, resistance would be at 232 and if we talk about major resistance then 260 would be coming in the play. So I feel if 198 or 200 marks hold on. You know, any dip should be used to go long and play for the target of 232 followed by 250. And um, uh, since uh, today we have seen gap up opening, and I feel that since looking at the volume part, if this gap up opening would be uh, would be runaway gap on the higher. Right, and so actually this is breaking 200 DMA in a single shot, and today's volumes are at least the highest in the last uh, six seven months. Mm. Yesterday which is Friday, 1.4 crore shares of Bandhan were traded. Today, it's 11 crores, almost 12 crores. So that's a 10x. And the five-day average of uh, volume is 1.6 crores. So we are almost at 306. Let us see how it pans out. But uh, uh, once these breakout happens on earnings, ladies and gentlemen, hmm. uh, it requires a, a, a little more sophistry when it comes to an intraday move. Let's see whether it retraces. And once it retraces, then we'll have more action on the upside. Sakshi. 
वन मोर नंबर दैट्स कम इन वॉन्डेला हॉलीडेज देर इज अ डाउन टिक ऑफ फोर पॉइंट एट परसेंट ऑन द स्टॉक दिस इज आफ्टर द नेट प्रॉफिट हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड ऑफ अ डिक्लाइन ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट टू सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट टू और ट्रॉ रुपीज अ डिक्लाइन ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ईयर ऑन ईयर रेवन्यूज हैव डिप बाई सिक्स एंड हाफ परसेंट टू वन सेवेंटी टू वन सेवेंटी थ्री और ट्रॉ रुपीज फॉर द कंपनी सो बोथ टॉप लाइन एंड बॉटम लाइन हैव सीन अ डिक्लाइन ओवर ईयर ऑन ईयर एबिटा हैज स्लिप बाई अबाउट ट्वेंटी टू और परसेंट अगेन एंड मार्जिन हैव ऑल्सो शार्पली रिड्यूस्ड फिफ्टी थ्री परसेंट वर्सेज सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट रिपोर्टेड अयर गो इन द सेम क्वार्टर एंड देफ यू डू सी द स्टॉक नाउ स्लिप इग इवन फर्दर इट्स नाउ डाउन बाई अबाउट फाइव एंड हाफ परसेंट वंडला हॉलीडेज ब्रिजेश जी डू ट्रैक द स्टॉक वुड यू हैव अ व्यू See, if we look at the Vandana stock, no doubt the stock made a low of 840, and now it has bounced back to the level of 892. Now, uh, looking at daily chart, the stock uh, still, you know, trading above, or it has just kissed the, you know, the longer term moving average, and it has we have seen the bounce back. But the shorter term and the uh, and the medium term moving average, it has a value at a 905 or 9010 there. So first, it has to give closing about 905 or 9010 band. Then we can see, okay, the short term reversal has been over, and we can see the stock consolidating in the range of 840 on a downside, followed by 950 on the higher side. If we are not able to surpass this range of 905 or 9010, then I feel that once again it might be retesting the level of. Now eight forty or eight twenty. It has a very strong support at, at the band of seven uh, eighty. I feel if the longer term view that seven eighty should not be broken. So uh, looking on the chart, since the volume has been increased, um, I feel that eight forty to nine forty band would be there for the consolidation, and then we can see an upswing till the time being. Um, uh, as an investor, I feel that it uh, should be avoided. Let it cross, you know, nine hundred and ten on the high, nine hundred and fifty on the higher side. Then one can take a long call. Hmm. Okay, got that. Uh, let's look at what else is buzzing in the FNO space. IEX, the way it has risen, I wanted to understand from you, Rajesh Ji. What's next for this counter? Six percent higher. The earnings uh, came in last week, I think, and it was a strong set of numbers. Production was high. Um, now you tell us what's next for IEX and what is pulling this stock higher? Can it sustain? So if we look out the IEX chart, you know the 52 high is 191, and today the intraday high is somewhere around 190.339. So I first of all the trend has been positive. You know the stock after making a high of uh, 191, it went down all the way to 159, uh, and after that we have seen a pullback. Now in that uh, uh, you know from Tuesday 23rd um, uh, uh, July onwards, you know the stock was been consolidated. And today we have seen the volume breakout, and that too followed by the uh, the price increment. So that indicates that the trend has been positive. For the uh, shorter term bet is been considered. I feel that 177 uh, uh, is the first, you know, downside support. It should not be get broken. Or 171, 177. We'll keep that thing as a as a stop loss. Minor resistance lies at 202 to 205 band. If we are surpass this level, then the next level on the higher side would be around 230. So short term trading bet, one keep a stop loss of 175. Play for the first target of 200 to 205. Fair point three zero seven, Sakshi. Uh, we are now almost twenty three minutes uh, away from uh, a close. Uh, it's been a fairly fairly strong move uh, uh, that has come in. Uh, Brijesh ji, any favourites in the uh, railway pack? RVNL is up almost almost ten percent. Very strong volumes, twenty seven hundred crores. What are the charts telling you? So today uh, uh, we have seen stock, you know, roughly around ten percent up, and fifty-two um, uh, week high. I feel that it would be retested. Six forty-seven is a fifty-two week high. As a candlestick pattern has been considered, stock today had made a bullish engulfing candlestick, which indicates a momentum on the higher side. Um, uh, uh, since the swings are uh, bigger in this RBNL, so it has a support. Two important support should be kept in mind. One support lies as at um 575 and the panic support lies at 540 so if someone wants to play on a buy side let it uh, drift little bit somewhere or if it comes at 595 around one can take a buy call play with the stop loss of 575 and uh, uh, play for the target of 645 if we are surpassing this level of 645 then the next level to watch on the higher side would be 685 to 690 
Mm. Okay, uh, we'll just uh, uh, take a detour into the PSU space, Sakshi. Uh, the big boys are back and they're back with a bang. Uh, the early morning gains that started on rights continue 12% higher. Remember, we caught it at yeah. 718, 719. And then uh, uh, this uh, uh, sharp run up continues. Very, very strong set of volume as far as uh, uh, trade is concerned. You have 16, 27 crores worth of transactions done. Circuit on Masgaon, circuit on Garden Reach, Cochin. You have very, very strong gains on uh, market favorites such as NBCC and of course, Ircon. Both favorites, Ireda and IRFC, they are back as well. So you can well understand that uh, the mojo of the market is uh, again the PSU theme and again old world favorites coming back after 10, 15 day rest and then again mo moving. The first day move is circuits. Mm. So you can well imagine, you know, what the pent up demand for this one is. And it's actually between that time and now, uh, the next uh, defense fund uh, uh, has that money ready. 1800 crores, we met the uh, fund manager in Bombay, uh, Mumbai the other day. And he was saying, dekhte. <laughs> you never know when that starts pouring in yes. and the second leg of the rally begins in that space again. So that's the shipping stocks. But you know, one more space which is uh, no let up, REC, PFC. They are both ah, back. Wo gaye. Three, so three and a half percent higher in trade today. Uh, Brijesh ji, over to you. Uh, thoda sa break aata hai and then these stocks are again on the upward rally. What would you suggest? Generally, I can say that before going up, take a little breath and then again just start moving, moving up. And you feel that the rally is finished and they give you a surprise that you know, still stream is still there. Now, if we look out the PFC chart, you know, still with uh, higher tops and higher bottom formation, it's been moving up. Uh, you know, the previous swing high is 580, looking at the chart, you know, the uh, price look out with the volume still indicates that nothing has been wrong. And always you, you feel, you know, whenever the correction comes, now look at the daily charts, you know, the shorter term moving average, somewhere around 20, uh, 20, uh, 20 day simple moving average. Or if you take um, the, uh, uh, the medium term moving average, uh, which is around 50 or 55, you know, the stock is not breaking that level. It just touching that level and again it is bouncing back. So, now it's, just for a technical front, suppose someone wants to play uh, uh, these stocks, always try to buy at that 20 day wala simple moving every or suppose someone has bought it, just keep that thing as a stock. Now, 552 the stock has been quoting, uh, uh, 553 uh, was the intraday high, 52 high is 580. I feel that 525, again 20 day simple moving every value as that thing, keep that thing as a stop loss and it might retest that level of 580 to 585. If we are uh, uh, Trading above that level, you know, the uh, higher side still potential of going all the way to 660 has been there on the chart. So, uh, for a very short term, 525 is a stop loss, uh, uh, play for the target of 580 to 585. If I look out the REC chart, REC chart as compared to uh, 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 with the PFC, you know, it, has, it is in the process of making the rounding bottom and where the rounding bottom happens, the volume get dry up. So that is a good sign. 644, 645 um, stock has been quoting. 52 wake high is 654. Probably looks that like it would be breaking that level. In, uh, for a short term, a stop loss of 630. Present it can be too long for the target of 658 to 660. Okay. Uh, on its way for the 3000 mark, reclaiming that uh, again will be m, &M. Uh, You see 2937 in front of you. Uh, a fresh weekly high coming in on this counter and uh, uh, the restart of a rally. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please note that we are on 29th of July. Uh, you have uh, three more trading sessions left, actually two more left for this uh, month to end. And then on 1st of uh, August, you will have data coming in for all uh, auto, cement, steel. Uh, monthly counters that we keep track. So the build-up on the auto space has started and uh, with that uh, it's uh, uh, a strong move on m, m that is coming in the futures and options space. Within the Nifty Auto Index, let's see how many of them are in the green today. Uh, the number will come right there in front of you. So Ashok Leyland, 4% higher, 256. Needless to say, this is a record high. Uh, Bharat Forge, we had a view coming in from Vaishali today uh, in our morning show. Fresh record high, 3% uh, higher, 1738. M&M, Bajaj Auto, Maruti, 
all of them up between half a percent and 1.6 percent. Meanwhile, uh, there is absolutely no stopping Bandhan Bank, hmm. almost now kissing 220. Uh, this is 14 percent higher, Sakshi. Absolutely no let up in the kind of rally that we've seen. So after a long haul, I think year to date the stock has absolutely not done anything. It was just down by about 5 odd percent. Something. It's a massive underperformer. I was yeah. just seeing the long term chart. Mm. I don't even want to say uh, what it is. So it's a pent up demand that's coming in. And like I had mentioned, a strong rally post earnings and after a great, great period of rest. Yeah. So let us see what happens over the next three or four days. Uh, mostly, uh, the 200 DMA is tested twice. So once the breakout happens, then two or three days of rest, and then it and then it again goes up. So much will depend upon the rest of the banking sector. We have SBI's earnings uh, coming later this week. Uh, let's see what the big daddy of them all says, and then we'll take a cue. Remember, Sakshi, earnings have been muted in Indusind Bank and uh, ICICI Bank. Despite that, they are in the green. Yes, absolutely. And the entire banking space is doing that catch-up rally that we can talk, whether it's the uh, private banks or the PSU banks right now. Uh, let's uh, get in um, uh, Bridges G to also talk about, uh, uh, you know, within the auto space specifically, uh, where are you keeping your attention? Tata Motors, the way it rallied from last week until now, it's been buzzing. MNM, uh, you see Ashok Leland, the long forgotten names coming back into the fore. Uh, how would you play this next leg like, of the momentum within the auto space? Now, uh, Sakshi, two stocks definitely are looking promising. There would be another also. But if I see, first I'll go with Mahindra and Mahindra. You know, the Mahindra and Mahindra on a deal, um, on a, um, if we look on the shorter term time frame of, of the chart, you know, it is in the process of making a W pattern, which indicates the uh, moment on the high side on the bullish phase is still in there. Uh, 2,935 around the stock is quoted. Keep a stop of 2,800. Look for the president for a buying. And I feel that the previous uh, uh, month high, that was around uh, 3,013, which is the 50 week high, that would be broken. And it might reach as a level of 3100. So for a short term bet, say for a week or a, or a couple of week time frame, one can look out to buy uh, Mahindra and Mahindra at the present rate, 2800 would be the stop loss. But for the first target of 3100, if we are surpassing this level, then the next level to watch on the higher side would be 3300. But I, for that thing, I feel like, you know, for a uh, one month to a two month time frame should be kept for Mahindra and Mahindra. Second stock which look promising is Ashok Leyland. Still, stream is, uh, stream is being left. You know, the we will be moving up uh, uh, at the price. Who do the volume are, are moving up, which indicate the still uh, stronger hands are being intact. Um, 256 around the stock is quoting, keep a stop loss of 244, which is the previous week high. Um, and on the higher side, uh, for 275 would be the first target. If we are able to cross this level of 275, the next level to watch would be 290 around. So, for a very short term, for a one week, two or two week, 244 stop loss place for the first target of 275 followed by 290. Right. And Sakshi, uh, another word of uh, encouragement on Ashok Leyland. Uh, the management uh, uh, in this uh, earnings media reaction has said that it has three companies, uh, subsidiaries of Ashok Leyland, uh, which might be listed in the market. So there's deep, deep value to be had uh, for long term shareholders of Ashok Leyland, uh, which is now at a record. So the companies are Hinduja Home Finance, Hinduja Finance, and there is an IT company also. Uh, which has shown a lot of promise. So with those three subsidiaries, possibly in the IPO pipeline, uh, you might have uh, some kind of, uh, uh, what's that company uh, thing called? Holding company yeah. benefit on uh, Ashok Leyland. So uh, tighten your seat belts. I can't remember the last uh, IPO that came from the Hinduja group. Although I remember the listing of Indusind Bank, but oh, in 2000. So, we'll uh, keep that in mind. I seriously, I think it was Hinduja Global that got listed, maybe in 2006, 2007. It just slips my mind, but uh, one of those stocks that we just mark and never sort of talk about is uh, uh, Ashok Leyland. Yeah. Sakshi. Right. Uh, there's one more news point that has come in, and uh, that is... Uh, with respect to Godavari Power, there's a share split and special dividend uh, that will the company will be looking at on August 7. 
so that's the kind of expectation that we have and therefore you see that spike 5.3 percent higher it touched that 1100 mark also when it came back uh do you track this stock at all brijesh See, uh, on a daily chart, stock made a high of 1223, uh, and if I'm not mistaken, that uh, 1223, 1223 is the 50-digit high. And after that, stock went down all the way to 1028. Now we have seen stock bouncing, um, touching the 1100 mark. Um, still, you know, minor resistance has been there at 1120, 20 or 25 zone. If we surpass. Then one can take a buy call in it, keep that, um, keep a stop of 1080 and play for the target of 1230, that is a 52 week high. And if we are surpassing this level of 1230, the next level to watch on the higher side would be 1300. So, uh, not right now, but let it cross 1120, then one can take a buy call. Hmm. Okay, got that. So, that's the view coming in. Uh, also, talk about the real estate space also, Brijesh ji. Uh, how are you looking at the momentum that's come in on DLF, for instance? 5% higher, Phoenix Mills, Prestige Estates, Brigade. These are the kind of uh, companies that are buzzing in trade. Uh, what uh, looks good within this space to you? So, uh, no doubt, uh, you know, uh, if we look about the... Uh, the reality tag in that uh, DLF is had surprised you know uh, stock uh, you know today we have seen uh, trading above uh, in the shorter term time trading above the longer term moving average and um, uh, trend line breakout has been witnesses so uh, uh, present uh, scenario looks good on the chart at um, 869 and 50 and intraday high is somewhere around 876 and I think right now it is uh, 320 so still, uh, still you know uh, uh, near that intraday high um, um, as a stop loss has been considered keep a stop loss of 830 present rate can be used to go long for the first target of 910 if we are surpassing this then the next level to do we high that is 960 so at least for 910 one can play on a buy side with a stop loss of 830 Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have uh, now just nine minutes left. Let's uh, start uh, wrapping uh, the numbers. Sakshi, uh, would you want to take a BTST, SCBT? Absolutely. It's 325 on uh, just the right time. Rajesh ji, how about uh, BTST or SCBT trades? What would you pick? It's been very, very volatile and it's going to be a difficult one for you. No, no, no. It, it, uh, you know, uh, still I would be preferring on the bull side. So I'll go with... Uh, uh, BTST, uh, B, B, um, ABFRL, as the builder fashion. Uh, when I uh, uh, noted down that time 337, it was been quoting, now it is 340. Okay. So one can take a buy call and, uh, and it keep a stop loss of uh, uh, 330 and play for the target of 355 to 359. Another counter which uh, look uh, for the BTST is um, uh, Bharat Electronic uh, uh, 321. Yes. Uh, the stock has been quoting. Keep us uh, a little bit deeper support of 312 and play for the target of 335 to 340. Again, BEL, uh, uh, one of those uh, quietest achievers uh, uh, within the defense space. And uh, uh, again, uh, uh, not exactly a momentum play, but uh, one of those uh, things that work very well uh, once the earnings are out and uh, the number was uh, today. Uh, I'm looking at actually a monthly chart you will not believe. Uh, it was at 28 rupees in June 2020 and this is a 1 is to 1 split. So actually the price is 620, 642. So that's the kind of rally that we've had and uh, what was the all time high that we saw a couple of uh, days ago? I think must be 340. Uh, yes, 340.4. So well on its way to reclaim that earnings are out today and of course uh, it's above 21 or mohar lag gayi singh saab ki to tezi to banti hai 323 ladies and gentlemen from my side uh, uh, it's been a quiet day uh, we've tested 25000 once and a small jaise wo kehte hai na aasman mein ek halka sa surakh kiya gaya hai 24999 7.5 और उस सुराख को और गहरा करके आप 25,000 का आंकड़ा जरूर देखेंगे 
लेकिन आज हल्का सा आराम का दिन है दो पॉइंट नीचे है निफ्टी Interesting. <laughs> it's it's panned out to be an interesting kind of a day, and it'll be interesting to watch out for as to how the week also follows from here on to. Uh, last uh, six minutes remaining. Now we'll just have to see. <laughs> you know, it's a tug of war. Are 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 we red or green <laughs> at the last tick in trade today? Uh, but uh, Divis Laboratories for you, Brijesh uh, Ji. Uh, where does the stock go from here? It's four nine four two. so if we look out dvs lab still uh, it's heading for 5120 to 5140 uh, it was in the range of 4600 or 2400 the range has been broken uh, so first uh, level to watch would be 5120 uh, but i feel that level would be uh, breaking so uh, already had made a 52 week high and i feel it is heading towards the level of, of uh, 5500 Uh, for a short term bet has been considered then 5150 followed by 5300 would be the level on the higher side present it can be used to go long with the stop loss of 4600 right gentlemen 325 uh, let's just mark the goodies that have come in from the market today and those ladies and gentlemen are the record highs uh, uh, very very quickly within the nsc 100 uh, the all time highs are uh, some of them from the pharma space i'd like to point out uh, FDC in particular, uh, because of the background theme that is running in the market, which is the buybacks. Uh, up till first of October 2024, the buybacks that are in the market will not attract the new tax that was announced in the budget. So a flurry of companies are likely to announce buybacks. Among them, FDC, uh, as also uh, stocks like Infosys and TCS. Uh, record highs, uh, of course, are uh, RVNL. No, it's uh, my apologies. The the list is not updating. Uh, okay, from my mind, I'll tell you. Uh, definitely FDC, Ashok Leyland. Uh, from the wealth management side, it's K FinTech, seven ninety six two point eight percent higher. Uh, from the low ticket high beta items, Karur Vyasa Bank, two point six percent higher, and Inox Wind, one seventy four point five. and of course earnings led boys uh, novama sakshi crosses 6000 uh, 5.5% higher uh, 361 wealth asset management again at a record high 7.86% higher 1075 and of course coromandel international chola fen eris life sciences and jindal so sakshi absolutely just uh, last 3 minutes remaining on the show and uh, on the markets to uh, you know finish the trade for the day we'll uh, start wrapping up the trade uh, and uh, we'll also thank you brijesh ji at the same time for being with us on this uh, special edition and sharing all your